Teachers for APS should have been in the classroom today meeting their students on the first day back to school. But News 13 has learned nearly a dozen of them are stuck half a world away. News 13's Brittany Bate tells you why. It's the first day back to school. And students in 11 different classrooms across the metro still do not have a teacher. I really choose New Mexico because I find it interesting to learn the cultures. Back in August, News 13 told you about Riza Rosello. She is one of 33 Filipino teachers hired on by APS to balance out their massive teacher shortage. Their website shows halfway through the year, the district still needs 170 teachers. We've been talking talking about a teacher shortage, the country has been talking about a teacher shortage for about a decade now, and this year we're living the reality of it. At least 11 more Filipino teachers were scheduled to start teaching this semester, but News 13 has learned they are all still stuck in the Philippines. They're helping to fill some very difficult positions. APS spokesperson Monica Armenta told News 13 through email, the U.S. Embassy in the Philippines was closed for the holiday, so there was no one there to get exit interviews with the teachers. According to its website, the embassy is back open, but it's not clear when the teachers will make it to New Mexico, as much of the State Department is closed during the government shutdown. Right, girls. In the meantime, substitute teachers will fill in full time, though APS is also down 500 subs. Brittany Bade, KRQE News 13. APS directed us to the U.S. State Department to ask about what specific problems are holding these 11 teachers up, but much of the department is closed during the government shutdown.